Hamilton, and we're talking about, yeah, you guessed it, AI. We've been talking about AI a lot lately. As you guys know, we've got the upcoming AI Business Summit, May 24th and 25th. We're going to be online for two days, super affordable, super fun. We're going to have 16 different experts and panelists come and just talk to us for two days all about every step from concept to launch of a business, how you can utilize these new tools and some old tools too. You know, AI has been around for a little while. So uh, welcome, Troy. It's great to have you. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about you and how you got into AI? Yeah, thanks, Amy, for having me on. Um, yeah, I mean, a little bit about me. I, I got started in uh, in e-commerce first and foremost now almost 10 years ago, which feels like a, a lifetime ago. I uh, stumbled into the Amazon opportunity and uh, had a chance to wear a few different hats um, really over the last yeah over the last 10 years started as a seller myself um had a chance to build and sell a brand and then moved on to uh, starting an Amazon SaaS uh, with a few partners that were also Amazon sellers in seller.tools uh so that was a great project learned a, a ton uh, kind of was able One to scratch our own favorite itch and... tools by the way <laughs> hey. <laughs> I use it every single day thank you for creating that <laughs> oh yes yes and I'm uh, really glad to hear that and I mean that was really our vision is you know a tool um you know, for sellers by sellers, essentially what what we wanted in in solutions and features. Um, ended up having uh, that platform acquired by uh, Carbon Six, uh, who uh, we became a part of, um, and their bigger vision of of really creating a uh, suite of tools that helps sellers really along every step in their journey and at all levels, um, from those that are just starting out to enterprise level brands and agencies, um, and then. Somewhat organically, I, I uh, stumbled into the opportunity uh, that's uh, before us now in the in the AI revolution uh, through just connecting with really smart folks um, and organically in the sense that we were just consuming a lot of AI content. We were trying to learn everything that's going on out there, whether it was news or developments or innovations. And of course, we were you know dabbling with all kinds of of tools and ways to um, create efficiencies and um, you know essentially look at exploring starting new businesses. And so that's really what Neon Pulse, our, our daily AI newsletter was bore out of was uh, essentially we were just consuming a bunch of content and we sort of figured, hey, well, I guess we can turn what we've been taking in and share it with a uh, an audience that's captivated and um, continue to sort of sort of grow it from there, try to make it as valuable of a of a newsletter every single day. Uh, it's a lot of work to get it out every every day, but that's just the rate of AI innovation right now to, to try to stay on top. I, I'm acutely aware of how challenging it is, uh, but it's a fun challenge for us because then we get to we get to really try to drive that value for um, our audience of saying, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna try to do that lift and share with you what's going on with uh, you know with AI day in and day out." I love it. You know, I've really enjoyed subscribing to Neon Pulse. You yeah, guys, it's free to subscribe. Neon Pulse is a sponsor of the AI Business Summit. So you guys can go over to amazingathome.com forward slash AI and you scroll down and you see our sponsors, Neon Pulse, and you can click right there and you can get subscribed to the Neon Pulse newsletter. And it's just daily, really interesting bites of information and tips and tricks and all kinds of things about what's going on. And so I've learned about a lot of new tools, um, new innovations that are happening, um, and also just different interesting angles of what's going on with different technologies. Uh, and it's always an interesting read. You guys do such a great job with that. So thank you so much for you know helping us with the summit, sponsoring the summit, being part of this, uh, because it is you know something that brings us all together but it's a lot of information and there's so much going on, you know, even in creating the summit schedule, we were like, how, how do we, well, we could make this 60 days, you know, and it still wouldn't be enough. So how do we pick things that are really valuable, uh, especially with the rapid pace of AI changing uh, right now? Uh, how do we pick things that are going to be lasting too, so that people watching the replays 30 days from now aren't going to have like dead information that isn't helpful for them, right? So it's really cool to just see how exciting it is. What have you uh, personally been using AI for in your business day to day, Troy? Yeah, I mean, it, can can I answer everything? Is that <laughs> is that is that fair? Um, I, I think it's uh, we're in the time where you know having uh, 
uh, ChatGPT open for for uh, as is the case uh, for me. Uh, I've got that tab open, and I just keep going back to the well. Um, I think there's just so many ways, especially you know we're in the content realm, so um, you can get uh, inundated by the amount of content. You can get um, you know you can have a bunch of barriers and roadblocks in terms of drafting that into something unique and compelling, and so. You know, we've really bolted on a lot of AI into our AI content um, and, you know, GPT and GPT-4 with a few, you know, additions. We make sure we we have web access so there's, you know, we, we can tap into, um, you know, a, a abundance of resources and really full the, use the full breadth of what you can do with GPT. Um, one thing that, you know, I, I've been a really big fan of, I've been doing this a lot more, is uh, spinning up uh, Chrome extensions based on pretty isolated needs. That's one use case where, you know, time and time again, if there's something that I'm doing that's maybe redundant and not yet automated, or I need a little bit more visibility, um, I'm going back to to GPT and saying, hey, you know, you're an expert programmer. This is our use case. This is what we need to address. Give us the, you know, give me the script for how I can uh, achieve that. Um, and it, it can literally spin up, give you the code, spin up a tool that you can add to your Chrome extension. Uh, with my, my my preferred browser, and I'm you know off to the races. So um, I'm con we're continually kind of going back to how we can look at our workflow. Ironically enough, I mean I'm a I'm kind of a systems guy, so I still try to create some framework and architecture of like okay, what's our workflow, and then I look at that and I sort of say okay, where can we add in AI in those those components, um, and just continually continually optimize. So. It is really, you know, like I said, it's really ironic given, you know, we're in the in the AI space and we use so much AI. Um, we have we have enough human elements in that equation, but we're just constantly looking at, hey, how can we sort of improve our processes to where, at the core, what we're passionate and interested about, we can spend a majority of time on, you know, that side of the business. Yeah, I love that. I love what you said about going back to the well. That's how I'm feeling about it too. It's like <laughs> every day, like, oh, I hadn't thought about it for this. Oh, I hadn't thought, oh, okay, I wonder if I can, oh, wow. You know, so it's just like every day, different use cases, whether it's business or personal, even, you know, there's so many wonderful things that you can do with it. So, um, and it was interesting, you know, I've been interviewing all these speakers and, and uh, I was just interviewing Brian Johnson and he was talking about how, um, you know, we have all the speakers give different tips. And he was talking about how this tool, uh, Descript, you know, mimics your voice. And um, he was going to use that to help educate his elderly parents about like, hey, this technology exists now. And it could really fool you into giving somebody money, thinking it's me, you know. So and you think about even educating your kids who might not know, you know, these different things. So as much as these tools can benefit us, they can also be used to harm us as well. So I think it's very important that overall people are educated in these tools and they learn the capabilities as well as um, the limitations, as well as the threats, right? Because there could, there could be many different uses for every type of AI. So uh, I'm learning so much, even just interviewing our speakers and, you know, our panelists and people who are involved in the summit, interviewing them and learning from them. I can't imagine what I'm going to learn in two days listening from, you know, every to everyone's use cases, seeing, you know, how they're using this and actually getting the full picture. So it's going to be so awesome. Uh, along that line, uh, Troy, do you want to give a really great tip for everyone today that they can use right now? Yeah, yeah. One uh, one tool uh, or tip that I would recommend is taking a look at uh, Forefront.ai. Uh, this is another tab that's, that's staying up for me quite a bit. It gives you access to GPT-4 uh, for free. Um, and it's persona-based. It's also got a really kind of clean and nice um, UI. So it's very easy to navigate. It's kind of queued up to where, like I said, it's it's sort of a persona based where you can work with a, an AI assistant. I'd still use a lot of the best practices with with GPT four. Um, that's that is a good a good step of always kind of defining a role, you know, clarifying what the uh, the need or the use case is. But this has been a super helpful tool to again use for free, um, and you know, it's another one that we we use in our our toolkit. Amazing. So it's called Forefront. Is that F-O-R-E? 
Yep. F O R E F O F R O N T dot A I. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Support front dot AI. Wow. So that's a great way for you guys if you don't have uh chat GPT plus, if you're not a plus subscriber, or maybe you don't have access to GPT4 yet. That's a great way for you to do that. Uh what a great tip. That's amazing. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Troy, for that. Well, thank you for being here today. Hopefully Troy's tips have helped you and uh, we hope you guys join us at the summit. You can actually use code neon pulse, N E O N P U L S E neon pulse at amazing at home.com forward slash AI to save $50 off of your summit ticket. Right now we have early bird pricing. So you're going to get a really, really great deal. Um, and join us at the summit and don't forget to click that neon pulse logo and get subscribed to Troy's newsletter because it's a really, really great newsletter and there's no better time to learn about what's going on in AI than right now. All right. Thanks everybody. And thank you, Troy. Have a great day. Thanks, Amy.